Lillian from Lillian's Craft Del Sol and thanks very much for watching. I'm going to be doing a design team project for Line.Arrow for Natalie and I'm doing a paper bag journal. Now we've got over here a shop called Teddy and they do these paper bags that you use for putting in your, um, oh I don't know what you call it, your waste your material waste, sorry about that noise, a book just fell over, if you're getting rid of your vegetable waste etc. Um, so I've taken one of them and I plan to sort of do a fold over like this but first I have to, I'm going to trim off this edge here as um, I want it quite, I'm going to be gluing this bit down. So it goes like this and then for that to fold over I want quite a decent bit that side so I think I will fold it there and I don't want to go all the way to the edge here so I'm going to fold it go in about a quarter of an inch I think to there. like that. So this will be my front cover spine and then I have this coming over and I'm going to be putting a eyelet there and tying it round. So what I need to do next is glue this bit down here. Hopefully if the glue comes out, yeah, there it is. And here, and here, oops, there as well. So that, oops, I forgot my tissue. There we go. There. I think I'm also going to glue this. I'm going to be putting papers on top, but I'm not sure exactly where yet. So I think I'm going to stick a bit of glue along the edge here just to hold it down. Make sure. These are quite large bags actually, so they can make quite a decent journal size. So we use them for recycling our vegetable waste. Yeah. And that's like that. So I will get let that dry, get some papers out, and um, we'll see how we're going to decorate it and the pages inside. Right, I've sorted out which papers I'm going to have on the front and back, etc. And I've also put... A signature together here um, with some of the pages from the kit, um, an old French dictionary page, some coffee, uh, tea dyed paper, page from the kit, um, a paper bag, some Spanish uh, pa uh, book pages, tea dyed paper, page from the kit, um, music, vintage music sheets, paper, tea dyed paper, um, page from the kit and then this is a, another paper bag and I intend to sort of glue down there and make a pocket. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see but it's been printed with lace over. I got these, I recently, um, I run a jewellery class at a local craft shop and I recently went to the wholesalers to get some packs for the Christmas class and um, they had these paper bags and they were gorgeous I was thinking oh do I fold it out like that completely but because it's got that as well but I thought no we've got it the other side another page from the kit um, this is from the old design shop an invoice I've tea dyed 
so as you can see there's uh, not a massive signature but enough and then I've got everything to decorate it with it's the other side of that paper bag I'm going to keep all this as it's got put something in there it's got the lace along the top page from the kit the music sheets another page from the kit and what I also plan to do is um, on the white pages is do some stenciling and gold splattering um, which will do when I get to put it sewing this in so that's the pages I've done for the journal now I'm going to do the inside first and I've got these I've done for the front and the back and the inside there I've also inked the paper bag in um, vintage photo as well as these sheets of paper but I've also along the edge as you can see it's a bit darker I've used um, coffee archival ink as well now I need to stick these on but <laughs> I want to reinforce where I'm folding here um, so I'm using some micropore I'm putting down from about there to about there roughly where I'm planning on uh, sewing it like that and I'm going to do the same this side even though I'm not sewing this it's going to be getting bent quite a bit so I'm doing the same here yeah. it's not quite in the middle I did mark where it was so I could get the middle there and then down there like that we don't have Tyvek over here otherwise I would have used that and then the plan is once the papers are on that I'll be sticking this over the top as well so I need to start putting the papers on um, now I've also have done the papers for the front covers well the plain paper for the front cover I haven't yet decided what I'm putting on the front cover um, I tend to wait it's not often I do the a lot of people do the covers first and I tend to leave mine till last um, as I'm never too sure what exactly I'm gonna do I think I should have filled that up with the uh, glue Yeah, I've done the papers and I've sewn around them. Now, I'm not very good at sewing at all. I don't sew, haven't sewed, never enjoyed it when you used to have to do it at school. And I've never made clothes or quilts, but I've got friends that have done all that. And so I decided if I just wanted to sew paper, I needed a cheap sewing machine. So I bought a 50 euro sewing machine out of Carrefour. But unfortunately, it started off all right I even went to a couple of sewing classes just to see um, make sure I'm getting the tension right because I just could not get it right it would not it would always be loose underneath so I could never do tags it whoops anything like that make sure that's not stuck there and that's not there yeah um, I could never do whoops tags because it looked awful on the other side oh the whole thing was a nightmare so I just stopped using it anyway friend told me about a, a Spanish show, sewing machine shop lovely little old lady with her daughter who speaks English I'm afraid my Spanish isn't good enough to start talking about sewing machines went along with my friend that does the quilting and um, she we had a look at a brother sewing machine which 
my partner ended up buying for me for Christmas. Um, oh my goodness, and it's so much better. It, it, the tension's right. Um, it definitely wasn't worth paying the 50 euros. That's going to have to go on Facebook for sale. Um, ideal for a kid, but not for if you want to do any kind of sewing. As I said, I wasn't too worried at first because I kept thinking, well, I'm going to be, I'm just sewing paper. So I've done these covers that way around. Put that on there. Like that. Um, the front covers, and I've sewn around them. Now, bear in mind, I don't sew. <laughs> so I'm not very even, as you can see. I've had go. I missed a bit there, so there's going to be something put on there. But this is going on the front here. Like that. I don't know what I'm doing here yet. And then this is going on the back here. But as I say, I don't know what on earth I'm going to be doing with any of it yet. But it's not too bad. And I just thought, well, it's my first attempt. And look, it's all lovely and even on the back. There's no bad tension. It's not all come loose. I was so I know I'm sticking this on, but I was so pleased with it. So I will be sewing tags as well in the future. Right, the next thing is these two strips, which I'm going to be using this to stick down. okay so I need to let these dry and then I can put the front covers on um, it's not too wonky <laughs> there is well the first this is about a fourth attempt by the way um, it did go very wonky when I first started but yes I'll be putting the front covers on and the back and I will um, so in my signature which i'm doing the three hole pamphlet stitch there's plenty of videos out there for you to see how that is done and i think i've done one in the past as well and then i'll be back with it all sewn in and it's starting to decorate right i've put all the uh, front cover on and the um, back cover and i've sewn in this uh, the um signature with a three hole pamphlet stitch I've left these because I'm thinking of putting some bells or some charms down there so that's all sewn in but I've also got these pages that are quite white so I thought I'd use my metallic watercolors these are Ganzai Tampi I got off of AliExpress I believe but they are in a lot of the craft shops so I'm going to splatter some gold paint over the white page I've already mixed some up. Now I've got two brushes, two fan brushes here. <clears throat> Not sure which one I'm going to be using. Let's try the little one first. See how that works. And I've got another brush that I use like that. That's quite a nice fine one, isn't it? Right. That's quite a fine one. So I'll go on to the next page here. It's already got some splattered on it from my fingers. Oops. <laughs> and I'm going to try the thicker brush. See what this comes out like. This needs a lot more paint on. I'll have to make some more up. Oh, that's interesting. Actually comes out a lot finer. Oh, don't know if you can even see that. Um, I'm not sure. Get these out of the way. It's very, very fine. Hmm. 
Not sure I'm over keen on that anyway. <laughs> right, let's see if I've got any left on this. Yeah, I have. I can see it now. Okay, I will now go through the rest of the book and splatter and um, do some slight decoration. And then I'll be back with the final flip through of it. Okay, I've now decorated it all. Um, so I'll just do a quick flip through of what I've done. I found it with some um, green ribbon, organza ribbon, as you can see here. And I have a little Christmas tree charm and some bells on the end there. Now I've used um, one of the journal cards for the front cover from December to Remember kit from um, Line Dot Arrow. Backed it with some Christmas music paper and some green material. I've used uh, some red similar throughout. Um, this is I got from a friend who used to do the I don't know what you call I don't know what it used to be called years ago. They used to get material and match it to your skin tone so you knew what colours to go and buy and wear. Anyway, she gave me a whole load of swatches, which was lovely of her. So this is a page from the kit. And then here, I've, uh, if you remember, I did this little paint sample tag pocket. So I've put that in there. And then there's an envelope from the kit. And in that I've got, um, this is some music, Christmas music paper I had that I shrank down and tea dyed. And then also this is a tag from the kit. And I've just done a quick little collage on there. I'm trying to keep it quite flat because it got quite bulky in the end. So when it came to um, collaging the tags or putting something on them, it got a bit tricky. <laughs> Um, French dictionary paper, tea dyed paper, page from the kit, the paper bag, a little collage there with some snowflakes and I've done the snowflake stenciling and then here I've just got one of the journal cards, small journal cards from the kit and the same I've just put that on the front, a ticket and some vintage music paper and some cheesecloth underneath, Spanish uh, book page Oh, and I've, te I've edged um, all the coffee paper with the gold as well. Um, I have gone a bit mad with the gold on this. <laughs> as you can see here, I've edged the pocket here in gold. I've edged the tags. This is one I've just stenciled. It's just tea dyed paper. And then this is uh, one of her journaling cards. And this is blank, so I cut it out. Sorry, that was an email coming through on my phone. I cut it out and put a photo behind that I've printed some vintage photos on photo proper photo paper and edged in gold as you can see I have like this gold oh, gold edging there and there a little collage with some of the snowflakes I've used the Tim Holtz um, snowflakes kit uh, die cuts dies rather little collage there this is the paper bag and I did fold up and stick the sides down here and just put two small journaling cards in and the little collage there vintage music paper these are quotes from the kit as well some cheesecloth tea dyed paper page from the kit um, from the old design shop and on here I've just put a little pocket with some of the tickets that I've inked up from the kit as well. There. And this one actually says the 25th and 24th. And there's a little poem on there on the card. I use one of the small journal cards as a pocket. And we've got the little bells. Lots of gold. <laughs> I've even put gold around the uh, wording. It is the, it is the season to sparkle, I thought appropriate. Um, invoice from the old design shop and this is the other red I got both bits out of these swatches they were quite long so I was quite pleased with that and this is another photo that I've printed onto I don't know if you can see onto glossy paper photo paper and inside I've got th two tags this one's been gilded up <laughs> that's from the kit 
Then this is the same one as that was on the front cover. I've just ink, inked it, that one. And the same with this one. I've just used vintage photo with that. I'll just put a little snowflake on the back there. They fit in there with just some tabs on the top. That I cut out with my silhouette. These, another page from the kit, some tea dye paper, the little small collage. I've just stenciled onto the paper bag there because we've got the lace there. And I've got two tags, well, a tag in here again, all being gilded with my lovely um, patina. And then another journal card with backed with tea dye paper with little tabs on so you can pull them out. You see them and pull them out. More stenciling, and obviously we've got all the sparkle from the gold water paint. Page from the kit, tea dye paper. I just put a little bit of, um, there were some fussy cuts, so I've put them on the edge there for a bit of interest. This is a paper clip, and on here, again, I've got, and I can't remember where I got these. Oh, it was either Artie Mays or maybe my porch prints, I can't remember. But anyway, I shrunk them down, um, so there's two on a page, and that worked out quite well. So I just did a paper clip. This is one of the circles that came with the kit, and lots of stenciling on here as well. And this is vintage music paper. Page from the kit, tea dye paper, the other side of the Spanish book. I've just put some snowflakes on. This is the other side of the paper bag with one of the little journal cards in and a bit of collage on the back there, more stenciling. Page from the kit, the other side of the French dictionary and on here I've just done a double pocket and this is the notebook that um, I made in the paint sample notebook from two paint samples I've put in there and also um, again another photo printed onto glossy paper photo paper that I've got and then two tags from the kit both just inked and I've used um, organza ribbon there this was a scrap of material left over and this is the sari silk as well and then we come to the end folds over like that and does up oops that way round and goes around like that and then ties up in a nice bow there, which I'm not very good at. <laughs> I never seem to manage to get them even. Anyway, that's my design team project for Line.Arrow. I've done a few videos, smaller ones. Um, but this was the one I was sort of aiming for. And the, the paper bag journal. Thanks very much for watching. And hope to speak to you soon and see you soon. Please like and subscribe. Hit that like button. And if you thank you very much to anybody that has already subscribed. Thanks a lot. Bye.